Well, as we head into the beginning of meteorological winter, we've had a number of viewers who have asked the question, just where is winter? And probably the easiest way to see that is to take a look at the temperature map across North America. And here we have it, quite simply, the coldest air is locked up into Canada. And my gosh, really cold air as we look up into Alaska and the Northwest Territories. That same winter condition can be reflected in the snow cover. And once again, not too surprisingly, most of the snow cover and probably 99% of it is locked up across Canada and not too coincidentally sits right across the U.S.-Canadian border. So what's keeping all of that cold air and snow along the border? Well, simply put, it's the jet stream. And right now our jet stream is taking more of a west to east pattern right along the border of North America. And there have been brief intrusions of colder air that have come right along that border in the northern plains and the northeast over the past week or so. But what would it take to bring really cold air, which is your main ingredient for winter snows, across a good part of the U.S.? Well, simply put, it would be that change in the jet stream. If we could get the jet stream to build in a pattern like this where it takes the big dip down into the southern part of the country, that jet stream would allow much colder air to come down across a good part of the United States. Now, over the next week or so, we don't see anything like this pattern. We see that west-east pattern in the jet right across the U.S.-Canadian border, brief intrusions of colder air right along that border area. We're going to continue to monitor these conditions as we go into the month of December and look for any types of features in the atmosphere that may change this pattern. So stay tuned.